Lemoyne's Division II era is coming to a close, but there's still another chapter to be written. Undefeated Lemoyne takes on the Mercyhurst Lakers in the Division II National Semifinals. Only, you know, we're juiced. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're about ready to rock and roll. Mercyhurst looking for their first ever win against Lemoyne. As we start at the dot, the face-off X, and it'll be a duel between Nico Mattia and Sean Durant. First went under his belt for Lemoyne as they look to clear, but it's going to be an entire, entire wing set competitive matchup between the wings and the face-off dot. Quick start here. Mercyhurst strikes first. It's Miles Ham, the senior from Calgary. Kyle Caves, who's got the rock right now. GLE near side. Lown. Check from behind, spin, shoots low, and scores. Ethan Lown with his 22nd goal. So, there's that Lemoyne defense, Cole. They've got the best scoring D in the nation. Pardon me, second, as we see a goal from Lemoyne. 18 to shoot. Great feet in front. Joey Pezzamenti fires and scores top shelf. Last week, Coach Sheehan told us, he was an absolute scorer in that championship game in the conference with six goals, but then he operated more in front of the cage and, and was a facilitator with an assist. Sean Duran bounces it home, and the face-off specialist for Mercyhurst has his... Griffin Ackley, midfielder, bump back, distributes to the top of the box, Seth Benedict, the junior attackman. Pass in front, on the doorstep, who else? Kevin Sheehan, the graduate student, with his 91st career. Winner last week against St. Anselm. Simonson spins back, oh, a laser that sneaks inside the right door. And Form on this stage. Yeah, and a guy that I think you told me initially committed to Ohio State, goes to Albany and then, you know, humbles himself here at the D2 level and really has made his game electric. Another guy who's making some electricity on the field is Ethan Lown, who nice job in. by 23 and green, Stephen Katz, the LSM, and Mercyhurst in transition. On a catch, it's Landy Moore. Step down, fires it low, and buries it. Ethan Landy Moore. Harvard, after three seasons, Landy Moore came from Hartford. That shot. Upstairs and through. It's number 18, Colin Schmatz, the junior with his fourth goal of the season. Little bit of a surprise. Doesn't get much PT right there. He takes advantage. Navigates around cage. Joey Pesimenti stops on a dime, peels back, shoots low, and it sneaks inside. How about it? Joey Pesimenti with a first half hat trick. You see that two-man game with Pesamenti and Lambert. Pesamenti has a rushed approach at him. 6-5 lead for Lemoyne. Mercyhurst trying to answer. A roll back in front and a goal. The Lakers and Kevin Sprague with his seventh, uh, pardon me now, eight face-off wins for the Dolphins. It's Mercyhurst who gets this win. A little skip to Mylou by Duran in front. Shot score, Stephen Morley, the junior LSM. A one goal lead for Mercyhurst. Joel first spins back, shot. Second time's a charm. Right in front on the doorstep. From Victor, New York, he had two goals and three assists the last two games. Nothing so far today, but something here from Lemoyne, right out of the gates. It's Simonson with a one-handed cradle, now has two on it, fires low and scores! Quinn Simonson with his second goal of the game, and Mercyhurst ties it up at eight. Quinn Simonson coming into this one, shooting below 20%, but he's had a heck of a day today. Sweeps across the middle, top side, lowers his shoulder, steps off and shoots one off. Lenore Ryan with a 12-5 lead at Limestone. Lambert, quick pass in front, shot goal. 
his style out, and we'll see if he can get going here in the fourth quarter. Jeremy Phoenix Lefebvre. He had the game winner last week. Phoenix Lefebvre on a mission, and he scores. We're tied at nine. Phoenix Lefebvre the on the shot clock for the Finns. Got to go. Lambert wedges his way inside and puts it home. Sam Lambert gives the Dolphins a 10-9 lead late in the fourth. Lambert has been the spark for the Finns, but let's go back to this possession, and let's go to Nick Knoll, saving it as the ball goes over the midfield line. He's able to get a stick to save possession as Sam Lambert takes full advantage. All the credit goes to Nick Knoll. Sam Lambert able to get with it. up by Mercyhurst, who is down by a goal. Less than five to play in the fourth quarter. Nicholas Mabe on the restart, scurries around the crease, rolls back in front and puts it in the attic. We're tied at 10. Shoved back sharply by Dom Del Ponte. Jeremy Phoenix Lefebvre bounces it home. It springs off the carpet and finds the twine. 11-10, Mercyhurst, less than two to play. Lefebvre is jacked up for a reason. It all starts with Simonson again, that Physical dodge, Mabe finding it inside for Lefebvre who catches it, face dodges Pascalini and a high bouncer right underneath the crossbar. Can't get much better than that. On the restart, it's Sam Lambert who has one goal and two assists. 10 seconds and counting, Lambert dashes to the cage, loses the ball behind the cage. Mercyhurst has it, three seconds left. The ball is skied into the air. And that does it for the first time. Mercyhurst beats LeMoyne. And the Lake Show, the Lakers, are going to the national championship game. 11 to 10, your final score.